Think of the value of compounding. Get yourself out a little compound interest table and see that at 7% money doubles every 10 years and then it doubles again, and then it doubles again, and then it doubles again, and doubles again, and doubles again. And by the time you're at retirement age, if you start investing when you're 50, it's multiplied, you don't have to tell me, but let me say uh, 35 or 40 times over. Unbelievable, maybe even more than that. Did you guys hear that? That's the purest form of financial freedom. Imagine a life where every morning brings you closer to financial freedom, where the sound of your alarm is replaced by the notification of dividends being deposited into your account, and where your bank account grows not from your labor, but from the smart decisions you made years ago. This isn't a dream, it's a reality that's achievable with the power of dividends. Did you know that in the last year alone, companies across the globe paid out over $1.7 trillion in dividends? This staggering amount highlights the incredible power of dividends as not only a source of income, but a life-changing wealth-building machine. But how do we utilize this machine to generate a consistent $5,100 monthly income for ourselves? In this episode, we turn to the wisdom of John Bogle, a legendary investor who revolutionized the way we think about investing. Our goal is clear, to secure a steady monthly stream of income through dividends, aiming for that magical $5,100 a month level. So let's look into the strategies that can help make this dream a reality. First things first, let's break down what dividends are and why they're essential to living off your investments. Imagine you're a part of a big company, not by working there, but because you own a tiny piece of it. This piece is called a share. Now, when this company makes a profit, it can decide to share some of that money with you. This share of the profit given to you is what we call a dividend. Pretty cool, right? You get money just because you own a part of the company. So why do companies give away money like this? Well, think of it as a thank you gesture for believing in the company and investing your money in it. It's also a way to attract more people to buy shares. More shareholders mean more money for the company to grow its business. It's a win-win. Now, not all companies pay dividends. Some prefer to use all their profits to grow bigger and faster. But many companies, especially the big and stable ones, pay dividends regularly. These payments usually happen every three months, which is known as a quarterly payout. However, some companies might pay monthly, semi-annually, or annually. It varies. Here's where it gets interesting for you as an investor. If you own shares in a company that pays dividends, you get a regular income without having to sell your shares. Consider it like having a tree in your backyard that drops money every few months. You still own the tree and it continues to grow, but you also get to enjoy the fruits, or in this case, the cash. But how much money are we talking about? It depends on how many shares you own and how much the company decides to pay per share. For example, if the company pays $1 per share as a dividend and you own 100 shares, you get $100 every time dividends are paid. Own more shares, you'll get more money. It's that simple. Now, living off dividends might sound like a dream, but it's very much possible with the right approach and mindset. It's about building a collection of shares in different companies that pay good dividends. Over time, as you reinvest those dividends to buy more shares, your income from dividends can grow enough to cover your expenses, maybe even more. John Bogle, through his creation of the first index fund, taught us the value of low-cost investing and the power of compounding returns. His philosophy was simple but revolutionary. The simplest and most efficient investment strategy is to buy and hold all of the nation's publicly held businesses at very low cost. By applying Bogle's principles to dividend investing, you can create a solid portfolio that not only grows over time, but also generates a steady income stream. Let's look at how to select the right dividend paying stocks and funds that align with Bogle's philosophy. John Bogle believed in the power of the stock market to deliver returns over the long term. He famously said, in investing, you get what you don't pay for. This means the less you pay in fees, the more of the market's returns you keep. When it comes to dividend investing, this principle guides us to look for low-cost dividend index funds or ETFs that track the performance of a broad array of dividend paying companies. By doing so, you minimize costs, which can eat into your dividend income over time. Another part of Bogle's philosophy is the idea of staying the course. He often emphasized the importance of long-term investing, saying, the stock market is a giant distraction to the business of investing. 
This is particularly relevant for dividend investors. The market will fluctuate, but dividends from strong, stable companies tend to be more consistent. By focusing on the long-term potential of your investments rather than short-term market movements, you can build a stream of dividend income that grows over time. Three, buy right, hold tight. Okay, buy right, hold tight means don't make mistakes at the start, pick a good fund, and hold it through thick and thin. Bogle also backed the idea of compounding returns, or as he put it, time is your friend, impulse is your enemy. When you reinvest dividends to buy more shares, you can use the power of compounding. This is when your investments earn money on their own, which in turn earns more money on its own, and so on. This can significantly accelerate the growth of your investment portfolio and the size of your dividend payments. To align with Bogle's philosophy in dividend investing, start by selecting a diversified mix of low-cost dividend index funds or ETFs. Look for funds that have a history of stable or increasing dividends. Remember, it's not just about the yield, it's about the total return, which includes both the dividend income and the potential for capital appreciation. Now, if you don't know what low-cost index funds or ETFs are, don't worry, I'll explain it to you. Think of an index fund as a basket. Instead of fruits, this basket holds tiny pieces of many companies known as stocks. These baskets are designed to mimic the performance of the market index, like the S&P 500, which is a collection of 500 large companies in the US. When you buy a share of an index fund, you're essentially buying a small slice of all those companies. This way, you're not putting all of your eggs into one basket, but spreading them out to reduce risk. Now, ETFs, or exchange-traded funds, are similar to index funds, but with a twist. They can be bought and sold throughout the trading day at market prices, just like individual stocks. This makes them highly flexible and accessible for investors. Both index funds and ETFs come with a cost, known as an expense ratio, which is the small fee you pay to the fund manager. John Bogle was a big advocate for keeping these costs as low as possible, because even small fees can eat into your investment returns over time. Low-cost index funds and ETFs are perfect for dividend investing, because they allow you to invest in a wide array of dividend-paying companies all at once, minimizing fees and maximizing your exposure to potential dividend income. By choosing funds with low expense ratios, you ensure more of your money stays invested and compounds over time aligning perfectly with Bogle's philosophy of cost-efficient investing for long-term growth. So, when we talk about building a dividend portfolio the Bogle way, we're focusing on these low-cost, diversified investment vehicles that let you tap into the power of the market with minimal fees, maximizing your dividend income potential. Now, to make money using dividends, focusing on strategies that maximize income while managing risk is key. Here are three strategies discussed with numbers to give you a clear picture of how each can work towards generating significant dividend income. Let's explore the first strategy for generating income through dividends, investing in high yield dividend stocks. This method only looks at companies whose dividend payout is higher compared to the price of their stock. This gives investors a steady stream of income. To put this into perspective, consider a company whose stock is valued at $100 and it distributes an annual dividend of $5 per share. This scenario presents us with a dividend yield of 5%, calculated by dividing the annual dividend by the stock price and then multiplying by 100 to get a percentage. Now let's break down the numbers to understand how this strategy can help you reach your goal of earning $5,100 per month or $61,200 annually. To achieve this with a 5% dividend yield, you would need to invest $1,224,000. This calculation is straightforward. Divide your annual income goal by the dividend yield in decimal form. So, 61,200 divided by 0 0.05 equals $1,224,000. Investing in high dividend yield stocks is particularly appealing because it targets companies likely to provide reliable income. These firms are often established players in their industries, offering products or services that remain in steady demand. However, it's essential to approach this strategy with care. An unusually high yield can sometimes indicate a company is facing financial difficulties, which might lead to dividend cuts in the future. Therefore, thorough research and a focus on companies with a consistent dividend-paying history are of the utmost importance to success.
By carefully selecting your investments in high dividend yield stocks, you can build a portfolio designed to meet your monthly income objectives. This strategy not only requires a significant initial investment, but also a commitment to ongoing elevation to ensure your portfolio continues to align with your financial goals. Strategy number two, dividend growth investing. This strategy involves investing in companies with a history of consistently increasing their dividend payouts. The focus is on the growth rate of dividends, which can lead to compounding returns over time. The example is, if a company increases its dividends by an average of 6% annually, and you start with a dividend yield of 3%, the effective yield on your original investment grows significantly over time. Using a 3% yield as an example, you would need to invest about $2,040,000 in order to make $5,100 a month. However, with reinvestment and dividend growth, the required initial investment can decrease as the compounding effect takes hold over the years. Target companies with a strong track record of dividend growth, which often indicates financial health and a commitment to returning value to its shareholders. Strategy number three is covered call ETFs. Covered call ETFs hold a portfolio of stocks while simultaneously selling call options on those stocks. This strategy provides income from dividends and the premiums received from selling the call options. An example is, a covered call ETF might have a dividend yield of 3% and generate an additional 2% from options premiums, totaling a 5% yield. To earn $5,100 a month or $61,200 a year at a 5% yield, you'd need to invest $1,224,000. While covered call ETFs can offer higher income, the call options cap the upside potential of the stocks held within the ETF, which could limit growth during bull markets. Each of these strategies has its own set of risks and considerations. High dividend yield investing can be prone to economic downturns. Dividend growth investing requires patience and a long-term view. And covered call ETFs trade growth potential for immediate income. Diversifying across these strategies can help mitigate risk while aiming to achieve the desired dividend income level. Let me know which strategy you like the best and why. Share your thoughts and strategies in the comments below. Let's continue to learn from each other and build wealth together.